Hi, I'm Geneva, and welcome to Bolus. I'm here today with our 2024 Terra Firma, and I'm gonna give you a full tour of the inside and out. But before we get started, I'd like to talk about what makes Bolus different. There are some key things. First of all, the performance of the Bolus. We have a incredible integrated battery system, which allows in this Terra Firma up to two weeks of off-grid exploration with the use of large appliances. The quality of the bolus is significantly different, which I'll talk about more when we talk about the construction. And the luxury is incredibly different in a bolus. This is quality you'll find nowhere else in the RV industry, much more similar to yacht and marine. As I get started, we'll talk first about the construction. The bolus is built different than any RV, and that starts with the frame. The frame is made of aluminum, which is TIG welded together, which you can see here. This means the frame is incredibly lightweight, of high quality, and then that frame is then taken and clad in 2024 T3 all clad aluminum panels on the exterior. Now that's very different from other RVs, even other aluminum RVs, which use a cheaper, heavier, of lower quality aluminum. This aluminum is incredibly lightweight as well, but also incredibly strong. It's the same aluminum that aircraft is built out of. We then take over 5,000 aircraft grade rivets, which are bucked rivets, not pulled rivets, again, like you'd find on other RVs, much higher quality. And we take all those panels and rivet them together fully to a full monocoque design. So that means that there's nothing under or over the bolus. Everything is in contained with inside the shell. That leads to the bolus being incredibly lightweight, incredibly high quality, and also a Four Seasons travel trailer because everything is contained inside the shell, which we'll talk about more inside. All of our screens are brass, which weather really beautifully. We don't use any fabric screens. In terms of our insulation, we use force fit polystyrene. Again, this is much higher R value than the other types of insulation that you'll find in other RVs. This also, if it gets wet, doesn't decrease its R value. So again, really fantastic for Four Seasons camping. We then use real wood not a laminate, like again, you'll find in other RVs, which is UV coated on all six sides and installed with stainless steel screws. Everything in the bolus is designed to be removed, so for maintenance or repair, nothing is glued in, and we make over 70% of all our interior components. A very different way to think about building an RV. In terms of the features on the exterior, we'll start back here. We have two storage hatches, and you'll find our awning stored in there. You then have our outdoor table, which also doubles as the sofa side table, which you'll find inside, and that hooks up to the exterior of the bolus. We then have a second outdoor storage hatch, which is an outdoor plug in it, perfect for setting out an up outdoor induction cooktop, as well as storing chalks, hoses, and cords outside. As we move back, we have a Dexter Torflex axle, aluminum wheels, and very high-end tires. We have a fender skirt here with the Bolus logo on it. Above, we have an air conditioning intake valve. The Bolus has a different waste system than other RVs. We have a cassette system versus a black water tank. This leads to incredible flexibility versus a black water tank because it's small, but it's able to drop emptied in any different location into a regular toilet or part of potty So that means you're not constantly looking for a dump station in order to empty your black water tank, as well as not dealing with anything nasty like a stinky slinky. The emptying is incredibly hygienic. It's a very similar system than it's used in many European RVs, and I'll demonstrate it now. So you simply remove the waste tank from the bolus. I'm detaching this European fan, which is an incredible fan system that when you flush the toilet, all the air is sucked back into the cassette, meaning that no smells escape. Now I'm gonna pull the cassette out and show how I would empty this. So first I would rotate this, remove the top, and simply empty into a standard toilet or porta potty the waste. Incredibly hygienic system, very high quality, and a European use. I'm gonna put it back in now. And reconnect that fan system. Now we'll talk about the features towards the rear of the bolus. This is an exhaust valve for the heating system. 
Down here we have another stabilization jack, the same type we had at the front, and it's on both sides of the bolus, both port and starboard. We have marker lights. We have a window for the bedroom. We then have the bumper on the bolus, and you'll note a 10% departure angle on the tail of the bolus. This means that it's very easy drivability for the bolus compared to any other RV. While we're here at the back, I'd love to talk a little bit more about aerodynamics. You'll notice this beautiful tail shape, which is the bedroom on the interior of the bolus. Very different, unique shape. This is actually a trademark shaped, just like a Coca-Cola bottle or something that is that distinctive. Now the bolus shape is part of our design DNA and this shape has been part of what makes a bolus a bolus. Now, why is this important? First of all, aerodynamics. This bolus shape is the most aerodynamic shape in a vehicle. Now you might be thinking, hey, why is the pointy end not towards the front? That's what I think the most aerodynamic shape is. But that's only true if you're going faster than the speed of sound. The Bolus has distinctive LED tail lights, license plate light, and this is where the license plate would go. The Bolus has a 20 gallon freshwater tank, which is filled through this gravity fill right here. Additionally, it has city water connections. So if you're set up at a campsite or at a home, you can easily tap into that fresh water here. And then in terms of the gray water, there's a 21 gallon gray water tank on this terra firma, which is dumped over here, right behind the axle, down here. And the great thing, because that gray water isn't combined with the black water, it's easy to dump if you're using biodegradable soaps onto your lawn or onto a different mechanism, which means you don't have to find that dump station like you would, because as we talked on the cassette system, we're not combining the both systems. The battery systems of the Volus are the most sophisticated in the RV world, much more similar to yachting, and that's actually where our battery system comes from. We use a eight kilowatt hour battery system, as well as a complex battery monitoring system software, which allows you to use all of the appliances outlets off grid for up to two weeks at a time. This is a really unique aspect of the Volus. In terms of the air conditioning, you can run the air conditioning for up to 16 hours at a time, which means about two overnights. In terms of charging the bolus, you can charge it in four different ways. The first way is through 30 amp service. The bolus is a 30 amp service RV, which means at a campsite, when you have 30 amp plug, that's how you can plug in and charge. However, all of the bolus appliances work off of a standard household outlet, so a 15 amp outlet, which means that you can at your home plug just right into a 15 amp outlet and run all of your appliances all at the same time. The other way you can charge is through solar. Now with the Terra Firma, you can use up to two suitcase solar panels right here and twin them together for up to 240 watts of solar absorption. Now this is more than enough to generate what would be regular use during the day, minus large appliances of course, but a really great way to extend your off-grid time even further. Additionally on the Bolus, you can charge using a generator, which would be hooking up to that 15 amp service. We find a 2000 watt generator works incredibly well for that. And you can also charge through the seven pin plug at the front of the trailer through your tow vehicle while you're towing. And we'll talk a little bit more about that at the front. As we move back, you'll see the emergency exit right here. We'll go into that more inside because you can also pass your shower through the emergency exit for the outdoor shower. Also, while we're here, I'd love to note the five vents on the top of the trailer. And again, because of that incredible monocoque shape, all of the hot air very easily exits those vents and you'll find that air conditioning doesn't really need to be turned on until you reach a much hotter temperature when you're camping somewhere like the desert. Now we'll move to the front of the bolus. Two things I wanna talk about on the front of the bolus are both the propane system and all about how to hitch. Let's talk about the propane system first. The Bolus does not need propane to operate. It can be 100% all electric off grid. However, if you're going to be going to cold weather destinations or even destinations where the temperature might drop at night, such as the desert, we recommend the addition of the optional propane tank. And what this will do is allow you to run that heater off both electrical and propane. 
The propane tank goes in this exterior hatch. It's also possible to tap into the exterior hatch on this side for an outdoor propane grill. Um, and like I said, this propane tank fuels only the heating system as our cooktop is induction. Now on to hitching. So as I mentioned before, the Bolus is incredibly lightweight. 3,200 pounds dry, 4,000 pounds fully loaded. And what this means is a huge amount of tow vehicles can tow the Bolus. What you'll notice is if you're already an RVer, you'll find there's no weight equalization hitches here. There's not really a lot to do when hitching. That's one of the amazing things about a Bolus. You can hitch in under a minute. There's an incredible wide variety of tow vehicles because the Bolus is 4,000 pounds. This involves EVs like the Tesla X or the Rivian, which enjoy the best range while towing of any other RV. This is almost to 73% of total range. So down here we have a two inch ball on the coupler. We have a seven pin. Uh, which connects into your tow vehicle, which enables your tow vehicle to charge the bolus like we talked about back in the electrical. We also have safety cables, breakaway switch, and this European jockey wheel. Now this jockey wheel enables you to move the front of the hitch up and down by cranking the top of it, as well as use the handle to pull the bolus towards your tow vehicle. Because of the bolus's low weight, and especially the low hitch weight, it enables you to move the bolus by hand. So with this crank, I can move the hitch of the bolus up and down, and now I'm gonna rotate it. It really is that easy to move. Now we're gonna go inside the bolus. So first I'd like to talk about our front door. Now the bolus front door is part of our trademark shape that I talked about while we were at the rear of the bolus. This is the only RV with a front door and that makes so much sense. <laughs> it's easy to get in when you're pulled over and it's right at the front so loading anything is incredibly easy. On the front, you'll find our electronic lock, which is a new feature for 2024, as well as a beautiful window. As we go inside, the door handle is also lockable. There's a hook at the top and a door stay, which can open up the door. Now we'll go inside. Now we're inside the kitchen of the bolus. We'll start at the bottom of the bolus. So here you'll find a 12 volt refrigerator and freezer which is incredibly efficient. There's one cupboard on this side with three compartments and one on this side with two. The one with two fits a small garbage can as well. You have two large storage drawers. All the drawers in the bolus are hard pull soft close, which means nothing will ever fall out while you're in motion. We also have a microwave here. The bolus has a two burner induction cooktop. The benefits of induction in an RV is that there's no propane gas inside the unit, as well as it is very efficient to cook with induction off of the battery. Now, all of the appliances in the bolus operate off of the battery as well, including the microwave, induction, heating, air conditioning, and all of the outlets. Speaking of outlets, you have one on this side and another one on that side, which is perfect for any additional appliances you might wanna bring, like a blender, or toaster oven, or anything like that. Up above, you'll have two shelves, and a small drawer, which is also the hard pull soft close. Two portholes, LED lights throughout, and venting up on the top. Every vent is individually controlled. Now let's move on to the living room. Now we're inside the living room of the Bolus and I'm seated here at the dinette. The Bolus can seat up to five people, two on the dinette side and three on the couch side, but it also has the ability to dine for when you use the outdoor table and insert it on the couch side. The bolus is made for you to work remotely. And that means a few things. That means that all the outlets operate off grid. That also means that there's a router that creates your own private Wi-Fi network. And that can be done either from a campground Wi-Fi that it piggybacks off of or the use of two SIM cards that you can insert into the router itself, meaning that you can have coverage almost anywhere in America.
While I'm seated here at the dinette, it's also worth mentioning that at Bolus, we sew all of our interiors ourselves, meaning that we have incredibly high quality seating, which is not only resistant to claws, stains, and anything else you might find while you're camping. The Bolus has a tablet as well on the other side, and we have a 13 inch iPad set up over there right now. There's also another tablet mount in the bedroom, which I'll show you when we get back there. As well as in the living room, we have five large drawers, which are all down below. Now, you'll notice inside a bolus, there's not much up above the head. Not only does this create a great expansive interior, but it also means the center of gravity is nice and low, which is also perfect for handling when you're towing. Also, while I'm down here on the floor, it's worth mentioning that the interior of the bolus flooring are all heated. This is an incredibly luxurious feature when you step out of the shower, as well as heats the interior of the bolus. As we mentioned when we were outside, this bolus is a Four Seasons travel trailer because of that monocoque design, all of the water tanks are inside, but also the heating system is incredibly efficient. We have four windows on the inside of the bolus, all coming with curtains, LED lighting we talked about before, two vents, again, individually operated, and two beautiful skylights for stargazing. Now we'll talk more about storage inside the bolus. We have two closets here, yours and mine. Each closet has a hanging bar inside, place for shoe storage, linen storage, a full length mirror on this side, and a uh, place to secure your outdoor table and solar panel inside this closet. As we go back, we'll find our vanity, bathroom sink, control panels, as well as the air conditioner under here. A feature we didn't touch on yet in the living room is that the air conditioner vents to three rooms, the living room, the bathroom, and the bedroom from that small circular vent on the wall. Inside the vanity, we have ample storage, great lighting, a mirror, and this is also where the router is located that we touched on earlier. In terms of the panels, this is where we have our heating panel system. Again, that's the glycol system that pumps radiant heat throughout the bolus for four season camping with the heated floors, the silent radiators, and a really great condition for winter camping or desert camping. This is also where you'll find your tank monitoring panels for your fresh water and gray water, as well as turning on your fresh water pump here. This is where you'll also find all of your battery systems. So we have this fantastic touch screen in the Terra Firma, which shows you how much power you have, how long it would last you at your current use, where you're getting that power from, solar, uh, shore power, and how much load you have going on in your bolus. Up above, you have a multi-inverter charger panel, which enables you to decide how you'd like to use what power coming in and whether you'd like to charge your battery or what you'll be using off-grid, as well as a master power storage switch. And this storage switch allows you to make everything turn off while your bolus is in storage. We also have an outlet for hair dryers. Other panel you'll find right here is our air conditioner panel. It's really unique that the air conditioner can operate off-grid and certainly in the bolus, that's what ours does. And now we'll step back into the bathroom and show you how the door system works. So when the bathroom's not in use, you'll find it's away. You might not even notice where it is, but when you're ready to use the bathroom, you're able to open up the door system into a incredibly large five by six and a half foot bathroom. Now we'll close the bathroom doors. First, we'll close this one off, which will separate the bathroom from the bedroom. They all have a magnetic close on the top. And then we'll shut this door off, which will close the living room from the bathroom. The bolus features a premium sit-down shower that is very large and incredibly comfortable. It has an Italian shower head, places for soap bottles, as well as a hanging line. There's also an emergency exit in the shower, which is because we built a code and also so that the shower can extend outside for an outdoor shower. On this side, we have the toilet. We already demonstrated how the cassette works from the outside, but it's also worth mentioning there's an indicator inside when the cassette's ready to be emptied, as well as that no odor cassette system, which has the fan, which brings all air down into the toilet bowl when you flush it. Additionally, on all of the sinks is a special valve, which means that you'll never have that dry sink smell as well. 
Now we're gonna move on to the bedroom. Now we're inside the bedroom of the bolus, my favorite room. You'll notice that the beautiful birch panels all come together here in that point of the tail with amazing trim stainless steel screws that really make this the most zen bedroom. The bed is six foot seven in length and it can be set up in either twins or a king, which we'll set up in a second. That means it lends itself to a really flexible setup depending on who you're traveling with. We also have windows that slide open with brass screens in the bedroom. We have the windows in the back with the wood blind on one side, which can pull off and go back on. Also, we have a mini booster fan for that heating system at the foot of the bed to keep your toes warm and a tablet mount for any sort of streaming you might wanna do from bed. Now I'm sitting at the sofa side table to show how it's set up. And this is what dining for four looks like. Now towards the bedroom, you'll see that the full king bed is now set up. This concludes our tour. Thank you so much for joining us for the 2024 Terra Firma.